And here today, we're at the Red Moose Coffee Shop, our favorite place to host our pop up events. And we're going to be working with the Analon Advanced Bronze Collection. Okay, we've survived the holidays, but we still have a pretty major holiday coming up, and that's Valentine's Day. Now, if you ask me, the best way to celebrate Valentine's Day is by making pizza. So, this is cool because you can make pizza with your little Valentine's or your special Valentine, but if you're using this two-in-one grill and roasting pan, we can start our pizza by grilling our ingredients, and then we can finish our pizza in the roasting pan. Even though it's a large roasting pan, this is a great grip or spin on a deep dish Chicago pizza. And me being from Minnesota, this is the way I kind of grew up making pizzas. We've gone ahead and grilled some red onion for our pizza on our grill pan. We have awesome grill marks. And then next, I'm gonna cut up some pepperoni that we got from the local butcher, just because I enjoy taking advantage of local products. And of course, it's a little bit more fresh and spicy when you buy it whole versus buying it pre-cut. Now that I have some pepperoni sliced up, We'll go ahead and add that to our other toppings. We have our pepperoncinis, our cheese, our tomato sauce, which we just made with tomatoes, onion, garlic. Um, I use a little bit of brown sugar, probably because I'm from the Midwest, and I like it sweet. And then finally, we've rolled out our crust that we're gonna add to our roasting pan, and then we'll begin assembling our pizza. I finished making the pizza. It's pretty incredible looking if you ask me. It was kind of sad, I had to make it alone and not with my Valentine. So now I'm gonna put it into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes until it's golden brown. And the best part is that the silicone handles can go right into the oven and with this non-stick pan, my pizza should come right out. Our pizza is ready. It is hot and bubbly right out of the oven. We were gonna slide it right on out onto the counter, just like that. And of course, since it is Valentine's Day, every girl loves to get flowers, but I just love to garnish with flowers. So we'll take some of these beautiful flowers from our local farm and just use the petals. You don't need to garnish with a whole flower. We'll put a few flower petals on it to make it look beautiful and Bon appetit, happy Valentine's Day, have a great day.